in this video we will learn how we can perform skin cleaning retouch using skin retouch photoshop actions these actions are workable in photoshop cs6 and up to photoshop cc 2017 and you can also use 2015 and 2014 it's all depends on your choice but the actions will be work for sure these all actions are originally created by me and we will learn how we can create these actions completely step by step but in this video we will learn how we can use these actions to clean your skin uh, let's have an example you can see that this uh, woman's skin is too much damaged and let's see uh, in the final stage we will get this out you can see it looks perfect and amazing let me just show you the another example this is the skin you can see how much it is damaged and uh, once we will uh, done this work the final results will be this one don't forget to subscribe and let's get started Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Test Tutorials and I hope you will all will be fine. You all will be fine. Let's start our work. Before we start, let me just tell you this is not only a actions work. We will work a completely to learn how we can create this action and how I created this action. But in this video, we will learn how we can use this action. So, let's start our start our work. Uh, you can see that this is the simple image. I have this locked background. If you don't have this, uh, if you have this uh, layer, just go to image, uh, layer, new, and go to background from layer. It will lock the layer and make it as our background. Now we need to load our actions. Uh, go to this action button, and if you don't find this in this panel, just go to Windows and click on actions. You will see this button will be uh, visible here. Now your only thing you need to do is just click on this uh, bars and click on load actions. From the load actions you can just simply go to desktop and select play and select this uh, uh, download this action file and you will see uh, this action file will be in raw file just extract that and you will see this file. Select this file and click on load. Once it's loaded into Photoshop just uh, open this you will see this is fully created by me and in the next video i will teach you how we can create this action so let's start our work you don't need to do anything you just need to press this play button and uh, we have pressed this button and you will see it has started its work and there we go so it is saying that select the amount of blur and click on continue note don't too much blur just a little bit blur so click on continue uh, it will open up the blur menu. We will just apply 8. 8 is standard for this kind of images because this is a very high definition image. Uh, adjust this according to your need and click on OK. Once you pressed OK, it will move further and uh, it will open up another dialog box. We will learn in the next video. But you will see select retouch on the layers overlay and leave other settings default and click on continue. We will click on continue. And you will see this is the basic thing we will just go to layer and select our retouch layer and you will see we will change the blend mode to subtract keep this mind keep this in mind blend mode should be subtract layer should be this uh, second retouch layer and this uh, set settings are 2 and 128 keep these things uh, in your mind and leave everything as default and click on ok that's nice now basic work is done now it is saying that select the lasso tool and select the skin area let's just click on stop and close this now we just need to do simple thing is we go to lasso tool and change the feather to 20 pixels we don't want edges just select the area of the skin i will do roughly selections and uh, that's nice now we'll go to filter blur and gaussian blur now pick the amount you will see how much uh, skin will be affected 
and I think it's nice here it's uh, nice about 80 yeah it's uh, perfect here so click on ok that's nice now we will simply just select the other areas okay so every time you will select this blur uh, you can change the settings as you cannot apply this too much because it looks bad so we will apply this uh, where it looks much better it looks nice click on ok and every time you select the area you will apply your custom blur okay so we have done our basic work you can see that uh, we have done our selection work now open up the actions and we'll simply click on play don't touch anything uh, or anywhere just click on play it will move further and uh, on the next dialog box it is saying that select the amount of high pass and click on continue leave it to 24 pixels as it is best for the detail so click on continue well basically there is an option here you can increase or decrease that but the 24 is best so we'll click on ok now it is saying that select the amount of blur and click on continue the tip is the lower the blur amount lower the detail will be visible so keep this in mind and adjust it according to you so click on continue and we adjust the size so i think 12, 12 is nice or you can increase it or decrease it but i think uh, 12 is much better so yes that's nice so click on ok and right after that it is saying that uh, yes now mask out the area on which we want to apply effect so click on stop we'll hide this and you will see it's a inverted mask so we'll select our white mask it is already selected everything you just need to brush out the area you want to visible that's uh, nice okay so we are done now select the action and we will click on play again don't touch anything just click on play now we need to select the amount of sharpness so click on continue and the smart sharpen has been opened now we need to adjust the settings of smart sharpen so we would like to i would like to increase the radius and the amount yes that's uh, that's nice so click on ok and this is done the final stage and uh, it is showing the showing the before and after preview and that's it you're done hope you enjoy like our work enjoy have fun and taste tutorials so stop that's it and that this is the basic output as you can see you can apply this on your various images i have tested this so don't worry about that if you feel any problem just comment under the video i will guide you and yes in the next video we will learn how i created this action so we will learn a complete tutorial uh, step by step how we can start the dialog boxes and how we can record the actions step by step it is very easy and i hope you will enjoy this video and i hope you like these actions so if you want to download these actions link is given in the description bar you can free download these actions my name is nan chaudhary and we will meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning